These documents show that the U.S. has been spying on allies and foes alike to try and understand their motivations and future activities that diplomats and government officials abroad may not disclose on their own. We know as a matter of practice that the U.S. has a very active apparatus to collect intelligence to the tune of $90 billion a year, roughly. What we learned are through signals intelligence, the collection of emails, phone calls, and other electronic communications, through human spies, through satellites, the U.S. has learned a lot of things that are not public about uh, different countries abroad. Some of the headlines that have been made in recent days have been uh, information collected about Israel's uh, intelligence service, the Mossad, allegedly encouraging its officers to rally against the legal overhaul proposed by the current Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. The AP also reviewed a document that suggests that Russian security officials, members of the successor to the KGB, the FSB, that officers from the FSB have been bragging that they worked with the United Arab Emirates to work against the interests of U.S. and U.K. intelligence. Some of, these, uh, some of these documents have already caused a lot of headlines throughout the world. They've led to officials in different countries seeking further clarification publicly and privately. But what we don't know is the full scope of the leaks and to the extent that they may damage U.S. intelligence collection or American relations with foreign countries abroad.